All right, we are in way too deep to even start the episode with a witty Raimi quote from the trilogy, but what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Ronnie Pugs, back again with another episode of the Raimi edition replay of Spider-Man PS4, the series where I replay through the entirety of Spider-Man PS4's main story using the chosen suit on Ultimate Difficulty. And we are in the final moments of the game here, folks. We probably only have about two episodes remaining and uh basically this episode is going to be spider-man 4 because right after this we're supposed to be fighting the vulture and electro who had concept art for spider-man 4 but i don't think he was ever actually considered for the film which i believe i brought up last episode and uh we'll skip that but he had a toy design made for spider-man 4 oscorp's modified cpf1 Okay, there we go. Breath. And it is Devil's Breath. Should be able to track the dispersal path now. All right, I was just seeing that. Uh, I was just making sure that the game wasn't lagging on a uh, Elgato. Or is it? I don't know. Maybe it's just the audio. Hopefully, it's not lagging because then I gotta start everything over again. leads down into those vents what was Otto doing up here okay we should be good or an access hatch around here now I'll say the first time I played this it was kind of difficult to get to this location considering that I had no idea where it was but I played the story this is my fourth time replaying the story so I didn't even have to follow the trail I just knew which building we had to go to which stuff like this is pretty cool I just wish that after we beat the game like we could explore like the interior buildings which it's something that I hope gets considered for Spider-Man PS4 too. This is without a doubt the best New York of any Spider-Man game, but the one thing it's missing is being able to go into buildings. Oh, we gotta find the lights first. Okay, I was just going straight for the uh, audio recordings. So today's Friday. I think I'm gonna end up dropping this video for uh, the video next week, so this should be up on Wednesday. and. Uh, we did get some Marvel news, of course, yesterday at the time of recording this, we got the official trailer for Avengers Endgame, which was amazing, you guys. Hopefully there's no other uh, ma material for the, uh, damn, where is the Switch at? Okay, there it is. But hopefully there's no other promos that are released for the film. I was kind of thinking about this too. We're a month away from this film, but there's like no promo art. We got no look at like any of the figures, the Funkos coming out or anything like that. And it's like, we still know nothing about the film besides they're going to try to fix what happened in Infinity War. I don't think I necessarily have to listen to all these, do I? What's this now? This part's cool right here. I like the uh, light. And voila! 40 soft glowing watts of it. There must be a way to get that lamp on. Oh, okay, so I gotta redo it. Alright, good, I can do my Uncle Ben line again. Um... There we go. Oh, it wants me to pull it off, okay. There we go. There we go. Let's try it now. And the Lord said, let there be light, and voila! There is light. 40 soft glowing watts of it. Rhino's targeting Oscorp's shoreline properties. Which is he hitting first? Seems like the last I really like this though. This is some uh, genius mastermind for Doc Ock right here. I need to keep my guard up. But the end game trailer, you guys, I really enjoyed it. Uh, thing that I noticed most from the trailer is that you know we're all speculating that either going back in time or they're gonna go to another universe. So based off of this trailer, I'm saying that they're going back in time because. It showed a lot of the previous MCU clips. It showed Iron Man 1. I'm pretty sure it showed uh, Civil War, where he was carrying uh, Agent Carter's casket, Captain America. And I think in the trailer, um, it was Agent Carter talking, saying that uh, something about time. I gotta watch the trailer again, you guys. I'm not too sure about that. But based off the trailer, the fact that they're showing past clips... I definitely think they will be going back in time, and my personal theory for Endgame is that they're going to go to the Battle of New York, because we've seen the set pictures where they go back in time. Maybe Tony's hair is blonde because they're trying to differentiate himself from the other Tony of that time, and um, let's say like they go there and Captain Marvel ends up flying up the, uh, the portal. 
that all the Chitari were flying through. And that way they defeat Thanos. I think that's how it's going to go. Maybe not, who knows. But I definitely think they might try to get all the Infinity Stones before Thanos going back in time. But then again, it raises the question, like, how do they go back in time? Can I just go up here now? I cannot. Good old Rhino, my second favorite Russian. Kind of wish we could just skip all this. Like it's cool the first two times you play, but like at this point, I just want to get done with the game. I gotta say, you guys, I haven't really been having fun playing this game lately, and I don't know why. Maybe it's just because like you know we've discovered everything about the game. It. I don't think anything new is going to be dropping for the game. The only thing I think we could see dropping for the game is the Far From Home suit, but that's like a big maybe that could happen. Electro's big pipe dream is to become pure energy. Doc actually managed to modify. His Am I missing something? Closer to that goal. Investigate Doc Ock's lair. Do I really gotta read all of these? Or listen to all of them? Hope not. Makes me think, was Adrian Toome sleeping here then? Or was that Dr. Octopus sleeping here? Come on. We know all this already. Oscorp has snaked itself throughout the city. Power, communication, public safety. Norman made his company essential, but also fragile. If a disaster were to occur, we're aware. A few small pressure points were tweaked. This reminds me of uh, Dr. Connor's lab Scorpion's helping Otto in Chasm 1. Slate. Criminal record expunged? Gambling debts erased? Okay, I'm getting upset about this right now. Uh, let's go back here. Maybe it's just because I'm rushing through it. I don't Scorpion know. must be trying to poison the city's reservoir. Another but this is like the equivalent property. of playing the MJ levels, except this is a uh, cooler. <laughs> Lee's going after the Devil's Breath anti serum, using something called Icarus. All right, finally, thank you. Icarus, this is it. Then we can Hello, get into more discussion. We've never been properly introduced. I'm Otto Octavius. Oh, I think there we have. No Icarus, is there? No. Martin needs no assistance to secure the anti-serum. Icarus was a ruse to get you into position. Into position? Huh? She's gonna blow. I really like this scene here. It reminds me of a... Uh... If you guys remember from the 90s Spider-Man show where Norman Osborn found out who Peter Parker was, he dragged them through that, uh, I believe they were having dinner. And then that, that was the episode where MJ ended up dying, which it was from the comics that, uh, something similar like this happened. It makes me wonder if we, when we eventually get the Green Goblin, we'll end up seeing that. But you guys know what I'm talking about. It's the one where MJ doesn't die, but she ends up getting thrown into another dimension because of, uh... Oh, I forgot what that device was called that the Hobgoblin in the spot, Kingpin, and uh, Doc Ock were using. <laughs> I had that DVD, like, right after Spider-Man 1, too. Now, this is Spider-Man 4 right here, you guys. Closest thing we'll get to Spider-Man 4 until that fan film drops. <laughs> Trap failed? Softened him up. Time for plan B. I love the fact that the voice actor for the Vulture is the same one from the Raimi games, and then even Electro's Josh Keaton. Man, I'm excited for this one, y'all. Let's do this. Woo! I wonder how difficult it'll be on Ultimate Difficulty, though. I believe we just dodge for a while, and uh, we gotta wait till he gets to the generators. Yeah, we gotta wait. Or I'm supposed to web Electro first. Yeah, there we go. Just wish I could get up. There we go. Alright, let's try it now. There we go. Woohoo! 
Now this is where the electroproof suit comes into play. But the thing about this is that we don't even fight Electro by himself. Like we get to do it for like a second. And then that's it. I don't know you guys. It's just I think the electro suit could be a lot better with proper execution, but in this game to me it's just the worst suit of the game. Woo! Now that was a line right there straight out of the Raimi game, specifically the uh the level where you gotta climb Vulture's uh, clock tower. That level was so difficult as a kid, you guys. Going back and playing it now, it's pretty easy, especially uh, since you can figure out how to do everything, but man, that level. <laughs> there were some difficult levels for the first Raimi game, which, unpopular opinion, uh, the graphics of the first Raimi game look a lot better than, uh, Sp than Spider-Man 2, which I guess that kind of makes sense because uh, they had to render the city and everything. So obviously, maybe the uh, character designs are going to get downgraded a bit, but... Man, the graphics for the first Raimi game are pretty solid for the time. Like, if there was an HD version of that, that would be crazy. Spider-Man! I must break you! Ah, you got it! You got my <laughs> that was such a cheesy line. So happy I can almost stop almost. Woo! Let's get it. Gotta be honest. So far, the boss fight's been pretty easy, but I don't want to, uh, I don't want to say anything too early. There we go. Y'all are losing right now. What are you talking about teamwork? If anything, the teamwork is me and, uh, the Spider-Man I'm controlling. Now, this Vulture boss fight is pretty good, but I don't think any, uh, Spider-Man game is gonna beat... Uh, Web of Shadows Vulture, Vulture boss fight. Now, like I've told y'all, that's the one Spider-Man game I played but never beaten just because that game was hard for me to play when I was younger. But I definitely want to go back in the summer and replay it for y'all considering that I've never beaten it. And that's also one of the most popular Spider-Man games, so that wouldn't, that would be pretty fun to play. But the one thing I remember about that game, and I don't remember a lot about it, but the Vulture boss fight stood out to me. That was a great boss fight. I don't remember all these QTEs. He doesn't stand a chance. He's not alone. Yeah, Woo! Y'all are losing right now, and you still talk. Oh. Okay, that was scary. Let's get that generator. Oh man, I thought I was about to lose all my health right there. I'm so glad that cutscene came up. One down, one to go. I'd imagine if uh, we didn't end up seeing Electro in Spider-Man 4, I imagine that he would have been in the game for Spider-Man 4. Let me know if you guys think that too. Are we done with the fight already? That was... Damn, that was quick. I guess we are. I don't remember it being that quick, especially since we're on ultimate difficulty, but that was Spider-Man 4 for y'all. Electro's been grounded. Spider-Man, I presume. If you really cared about this city, you'd be helping me expose Osborne for the criminal he is. By killing innocent people? I would have restored the power. You're sick. You need help. I have all the help I need. And we will not stop until Norman gets what he deserves. Not too bad for a, uh, the first boss fight of the, of the Sinister Six. I guess the Mr. Negative one counts, even though we didn't know about the Sinister Six uh, Just need to by then. So I'm assuming we only have two more episodes in the series to, to go, assuming I do go an hour on this episode and an hour on the next one. I don't know when that one's going to be out. Right now I'm recording this on Friday, the day that James Gunn was rehired from Marvel, which I, did I bring that up or was I just talking about the Endgame trailer? I'm not too sure, I lost my track, but yeah, that's the news that broke today, you guys. James Gunn is back to direct Guardians 3. I kind of figured he was coming back because let's be honest here, y'all. Like, he wasn't serious about those tweets. Like, I definitely think, uh, ducted, Yuri. you know, it is wrong to be tweeting stuff like that because that is, Yuri. like, a weird sense of humor, but 
everyone tweets stupid stuff, and he apologized for it, he did his public apology. Uh, he was uh, pretty, from what I remember, he was alright with being let go. He was respectful about it and everything, and he understood, so apparently, like, when they were talking, at least from what I heard, uh, you know, Disney was uh, pretty persuaded by the fact that he came back, or when they were interviewing, he, they were pretty persuaded by the way he handled the whole situation and his public apology, so it's good to see him back. He's going to be the first MCU director to finish a trilogy, which I believe John Watts will be, uh, will be the second one to do that. Assuming the Russo brothers don't take on a Spider-Man film, because I'll be honest with y'all, John Watts is a good director for Spider-Man. Like, Homecoming is a breath of fresh air compared to the Tazm franchises, and, uh, Oh, I thought they were about to transition levels, but this is the Scorpion one right here. But, um, you know, John Watts, he did a good job at Homecoming. It's definitely a good movie, but I think the Russo brothers have a better understanding of the character of Spider-Man, because this is the thing, y'all. The two Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Man times that, <laughs> that doesn't make sense, but... The two Russo films that Spider-Man has been in, Civil War and Infinity War... You know, he has high-tech suits, but he doesn't have the AI in the suit, which I'm not knocking John Watts for that. Maybe that was just the studio's decision because they wanted to differentiate himself from the past Spider-Man films, so they had to do something different like that. But you're telling me that he gets the Iron Spider suit in Infinity War and he has no AI in that costume? To me, it just seems like the Russos wanted to ignore it. But I can't take any chances. Gotta get to higher ground. And also, I'll tell y'all, um... As much as I like Homecoming, I would put it in my top 10 MCU films for sure. Uh, I think my favorite incarnation of Peter Parker in the MCU so far has been in Civil War. Just because he has a real good sense of responsibility in that. And he does display his wittiness, but it's not like, oh my god, look at this, I need to be with the Avengers and stuff. And we will be skipping that. These are my favorite puzzles though. But I'm glad to see James Gunn back. That means uh, maybe the film won't be getting delayed. I know that we're going to try to look for different directors. The two directors I would have picked would have been J.J. Abrams or uh, the guy that directed Ragnarok. I forget his name. But honestly, I want to see J.J. Abrams do the uh, MCU Fantastic Four film. I think he would be really good for that. Especially if they tackle like the cosmic side of it where they go into space and... Uh, the way I do a Fantastic Four film in the MCU was it's a period piece, so they it would be like in the 60s, let's say S.H.I.E.L.D.'s like doing a uh, secret project or something and then they go to space, it would be during the space race and stuff, so 60s or 70s it would be in and uh, they end up getting like trapped in space, but then they come back to present day and they're, uh, that's when they have all their abilities. I think that would be pretty interesting. Where'd it go? I would like to see the negative zone introduced, but I don't know if Marvel would end up doing that since, uh, considering that Fan4 Stick did that, which, you know, Fan4 Stick, oh man, I'll say this, I, the characters in there are pretty good, but the plot of the film is what fails. <laughs> Although I think the whole thing where the thing was, uh, the reason he says it's clobber in time is because his brother used to say that before he beats him up, that's so stupid. Now, I've seen that movie once. I didn't go see it when it was in theaters because I knew that it was going to be trash. And I wasn't going to waste my time in theaters with that. I ended up watching it, like, last year on FX. And, uh, like, the characters are alright in it. I won't lie. It's just the fact that there's, like, no final fight in the film. There's no fight scenes, for real. There's the stupid time jump after they get their powers. And then, uh, like... They end up killing yes, yes, uh, Johnny Storm and Sue Storm's and dad, but they don't even like feel like. The oh yeah, I forgot this is like basically the uh, anti-Oc arms, which is pretty cool. But basically, like, they just don't care after it happens. Like, they completely blow it off. Like, oh, my dad just died. Oh well. It's like I'm playing Blackout right now. This is pretty cool though, coming back to the city like this, even if it is underwater. Now something that would be really cool is if we could buy a DLC pack where the entire city was covered in this water. 
I don't know, maybe, like, let's say they charge like $5 for it. Um, you could remove the scorpion tails and the fact that you get damaged for going into the water, but, uh, I think it would be pretty interesting just to swing through the city like this. Oh, man. Okay, we went right through that. We should have died. <laughs> this is a pretty good level. Um, apparently... Oh, man, we're about to die. Oh, no, we survived. Cool. Or did we? Nope. Rest in peace. The buildings got way too low. But I do like this level. Apparently, people are saying, like, it's an Arkham ripoff with one of the Scarecrow levels, but, uh... I don't know which one that's from because I've only played Arkham City and I I didn't end up finishing Arkham City because it just got too hard for me when I was playing it. But that game did make Mr. Freeze my favorite Batman villain. I love the Mr. Freeze of Arkham City. He's a very scary villain in that game. Especially the level where you gotta fight him and uh, he's just walking so slow and you gotta sneak up on him and everything. I would love to see Mr. Freeze in a Batman film. I mean, we got Bane's redemption after Batman and Robin. We should definitely see, uh... We should definitely see Mr. Freeze. I'd love to see the Riddler, too. I remember back in the day, there was rumors that the, uh... villain for The Dark Knight Rises was gonna be the Riddler, but... I think the studio went against that because they thought it would be too much like the Joker in terms of the story. Not necessarily the character, but... Just like the whole plot of the story. Thank you, Crane Dad. I like this part right here. Although it does get pretty difficult you trying to swing late. when, uh, were too late to when we're doing me. this. This isn't you, Doc. Ah, but it is me. The me polite society found in me. The parts of myself I suppressed. But you helped me. There we go. I remember the first time I played this, I was just falling so many times. I'm sorry. I'll find a way to help you. I swear. This is one of the coolest uh, levels, though. This no, would definitely make for some good photo mode shots, you never too. I am not. Stop running from me. Let me try. I want nothing from you. Just give me a chance. You're a man. I love seeing the tentacles, though. You bring nothing but this reminds me of the Mysterio Carnival level from no. Spider-Man 2. I'm not giving up on you. Please, just talk to me. I can help you. So you can treat me like all the rest. Containing me, suffocating me. No, I will let my genius shine on its own. Oh, the yo-yo pose. I saw you. There it is. The there atropine. we go. So, a little update in the uh, life of Ronnie. Today I got a new phone. I upgraded my iPhone 7 to the uh, XR. The XR is pretty good so far. I got the red version because I've been wanting a red iPhone like since they've introduced them. I'm glad that the front is black because I believe the, when they first introduced the uh, red iPhones, the front was white. And I had the white and gold uh, iPhone 7 for a while. And, you know, the white is cool, but I'd rather have the black just because... Uh, like, when the phone's off, it looks like your entire screen is, uh, you know, the, your entire screen's the front. Which, with this, I gotta get used to not having a home button. I still think I prefer a home button, but I guess this is alright. Um, you know, I just gotta get used to it. But I do like it so far. The phone is much bigger than my iPhone 7. Uh, hopefully I can make some vlogs on it, too. So, I might do a vlog where I go pick up City at War, and I believe Spider-Verse also drops next week, so... Maybe I'll do like a Friday morning vlog where I go pick up Spider-Verse and City at War, which we did end up getting our first, uh, like first little, uh, glimpses at the first issue of City at War. It's nothing special, it's basically just the game in book adaption. I think the art should be a little bit better because the classic suit doesn't even look like the classic suit in this. The lenses are all messed up, 
and the uh, the spider logo doesn't look like it should. I think not. You're in my domain now. You're just like Osborne, trying to steal my genius. Everything that happens now is yours. Thought I forgot about you. Is this where we fight the scorpion? All right, he is here. Good. Hold still. I'll show you. Woohoo! Another hallucination. At least he had an imaginary Oh, I thought job. the boss fight started already. This also reminds me of the Shared Dimensions level, the final level. Probably one of the most iconic Spider-Man levels in video games. Definitely I would say the Carnage or the uh the vulture level of that game is also pretty good. Which I will end up playing Shared Dimensions for y'all this summer too. Sure what I'm planning to do is probably just play three Spider-Man games I haven't played, so I definitely want to do a Spider- We're gonna start with Spider-Man 3 on the uh We'll start with Spider-Man 3 on the PS3 because that's one of my personal favorite Spider-Man games. I know some people have mixed feelings about it, but I think it's a pretty good game. It's just really difficult to play. The Kingpin boss fight and the uh, Kraven the Hunter boss fights are difficult as hell. Um, like I've told y'all, I was stuck on that Kraven level forever when I was younger. I beat it a day before Tasm the movie came out, which is pretty funny. And um. I recently went back and replayed it because I picked up the collector's edition which has the slip cover, the all black symbiote cover, and you can also play as the new goblin once you beat him. And uh, I ended up beating that Kraven boss fight the first time I played it. So I was like, are you for real? But then when I got to the Kingpin boss fight, that took me a minute. And I was basically just doing the same combo like over and over because I could not beat that fight. And then my game ended up glitching and Kingpin went into this room where you couldn't get in and there was no way of getting him out of there so I had to restart my game which sucked. But I'm definitely planning on playing that one for you guys. Finally. Does it seem like this game is going or th these boss fights are going a lot faster? And here's the gag suit that had to be the 100% completion reward, even though uh, Spider Cop is a running gag in the game. But yet, this is a this is a better reward than that. Let's just go ahead and forget that ever happened. I want to look around the lab for a second because I, you can slowly see Doc Ock uh, get crazy. So we've done that already. See if he says anything new about it. Planning this right under my nose. Yep. Was it just Meat on roof. <laughs> the interface pushed him over the edge. How long was he using the device before? Maybe I Peter. That was actually the first time I checked that out. Thank you to my good friend Bill for uh, telling me about these these uh, whiteboards. Look at that. Doc wasn't just reinforcing. Now you have to be crazy to like circle everything like that. Weapons of mass destruction. But the XR is pretty good so far. I'm not one where I need to get a new phone every time a new one comes out because I just do like the contracts. And uh, once my phone, like it's Ooh, time to upgrade, I'll upgrade. Foggy. Because the 7 I had, you know, it was still in pretty good condition, but the battery was starting to mess up. Good time to go on patrol. Let's do the drone challenge. After this, I'm pretty sure we do the Miles level where, uh, he run away from Rhino. Which people do say that's the scariest level in the game. I say the Tombstone one, because Rhino's a goofball. The one where you play as MJ and you gotta sneak through Tombstone's hideout, that one's scary because Tombstone is real as fuck <laughs> especially like this game's version of oh I thought my game froze for a second especially this game's version of tombstone There's like that problem. dude is for real tombstone is one of my one of my personal favorite spider-man villains I especially like him in the 90s show where he has the connection with Robbie Robertson which he does in the comics but just being able to see it in animated form is pretty good the spectacular versions all right but I just prefer the 90s version I like the design too, even though the outfit's goofy. Okay, we're not gonna get that one. Go, Spider-Man! Woohoo! 
I'm surprised we made that. One thing I also want to see next game is the ability to change the weather to weather like this. Because we do get rain during the night, but it's like drizzle. It's not like this. I want like some legitimate rain to swing through the city with. Like, imagine if we do end up getting the Raimi black suit next game, and then we can swing through the city in the rain at night with rain like this. Not the, not the uh, game that's currently, not the rain that's currently in game. That would be crazy. Especially recreate the uh, church scene in photo mode too. Now Not too bad. So close to perfection. Uh, we were close, I guess. Not bad. You got skills. I got skills too. And I thought Robo In my defense, I had a ton of poison well, in my system. Down his spy cams. Woo! Should just have to do a crime now, right? And then we should be able to play as Miles? I believe the Miles level is next. Um, let's go get a backpack. I'm trying to get this done at, like as fast as possible. Because the side missions do take up the episode. Which I wish it was like Spider-Man 2 where, uh... You know, you just have to collect the hero points, and I could do that off-screen. Sort of like with Ultimate Spider-Man also, where uh, it says, like, oh, do these certain amount of crimes, and uh, you could progress in the story. Like, that was fun doing off-camera. There we go. Spider-Menace. Okay. I need to get after Scorpion. Lethal Force. I haven't seen Aunt May face-to-face -face since the fire. I think I can afford a quick pit stop at Feast. So did Peter Parker end up seeing uh, Aunt May after Feast? I wonder if that's going to be in the City at War because they did say it's just basically the game in comic form, but there's going to be some stuff in there that uh, they're going to add. So that could be a deleted scene where Peter ends up going to check on Aunt May after MJ, the fire. Hey, you mind if I toss a kind of thorny ethical question at you? When is it okay to give up on a friend? Oh, wow, Pete. Making a auto? That obvious, huh? Yeah, understandable, though. Man, the high-minded, generous part of me wants to say never. Being a true friend means being there, even when people lose their way. But with what Otto's done, I just don't know, Pete. I guess you have to decide if the Otto Octavius you knew was still in there or not. Maybe if he was ever even in there at all. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, MJ. Alan, you got another cameo. I gotta process this stuff, I think. Call me anytime, Pete. I'm here for you. Ooh, that's back to back cameos for Alan. Keep the streak up, Alan. Ooh. If y'all can hear my dog, I can't do anything about that. But I'm home by myself and uh she cries if I don't bring her upstairs with me. <laughs> right over here. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can you do could put is those in the fridge. Bed. Oh, Peter, it is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? I'm good, fine. But busy. <laughs> I thought you were oh, sick. Let me go. <coughs> oh, there. <coughs> I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and that. <coughs> so I charged my phone up to 98%, and according to the guy, uh, according to the guy at the store who sold me the phone, he said that his fiance bought the same phone and didn't have to, uh, like charge it for like two days after she bought it. So I'm, I want to see how good this battery is. The one thing that sucks though is that I browse Reddit a lot, but um, what sucks is that I used Alien Blue, which was like the Reddit app before the Reddit app existed, and I gotten used to that app, but um, apparently like on iOS 12, it doesn't work. Like every time I open it, it keeps crashing. So I downloaded the official Reddit app, and mainly like I used Reddit for like my sports news and everything. I used to browse uh, Reddit Marvel Studios a lot, but I kind of stopped with that. 
And it's not really because I don't like the subreddit, it's just because like I'm in the I have the Twitter community now, so if I want to browse like news or anything, I'll just go to Twitter and see what's happening. But if there's like breaking news, like for sure I'll go up on Reddit and uh, see what people are saying. Like um I went to the Captain Marvel spoiler thread and I also went to the uh I checked on the James Gunn thread today. Pretty interesting. Should be able to hop that wall. <coughs> Medical containers in that Ooh. tent. Maybe this will be easy. Guys, I dying. Supply drop right here, man. We're playing blackout. I need to keep looking. Cool car. You two, get over here. All right, More supplies right. over there. Need to get past these guys. Believe me, I hate oh, I was about to say, there's no way. Oh man. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm rushing this, my bad, y'all. Let's do this. Another supply tent. A couple trauma kits. No antibiotics. Gotta be somewhere. Looks like they're gonna divvy up the supplies. Oh, cool. Trauma kits, just like in Blackout. <laughs> Bro, I've been playing a lot of Blackout, you guys. A lot of Blackout and a lot of COD 4 Remastered. And if you guys want to hop on that with uh, me and my good friend Darkseid Bill, like, feel free to invite me. I know a lot of y'all got me on PlayStation, but it's like uh, nobody like invites me to a party besides like a couple people. And you know, feel free to. I'll join if I'm free. Like I don't mind talking to y'all. And especially, it's like you know, what's the point of even having uh, someone on PlayStation then? What if that was the webbing that uh Peter bought <laughs> in uh in Tasm? I'm allergic to that. That is a damn large man. I found the exploding bulldozer. Supply loops and schedule. No! Gentlemen. I apologize. My associate is inelegant. I like this version of Scorpion, but I think so far my favorite Scorpion has been either the 90 series or um Spider-Man Homecoming. And Spider-Man Homecoming, we haven't seen him in the suit yet, but uh I'd like to see him in the suit. see you though. Oh, Tricorp. I remember I found that Easter egg. I, they, they got the... I never noticed the uh, Tricorp on the barrels. I'd say this Rhino design is my favorite Rhino design too. That and the Spider-Man 2 game version. That one's pretty cool. It's like a, a blue Rhino in that one and he's got like extra spikes on him. <gasps> what? Alright, let's try it again. Rest in peace, Miles. Can we get an F in the chat, y'all? <laughs> and the Lord said, let there be light. So let's wait right here. I'm excited to see the progression of Miles' missions next game. Um, I have a feeling like there's going to be a point next game where Peter like stops being Spider-Man and then we'll just focus on Miles for a second. Or Peter's going to like, uh, oh man, this is scary. There's nothing I can hack. Oh no, oh no, oh no. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was close. That was close. What? Bro, we were behind the box. Ah. Nah, nah. Alright, let's try this again. Third time's the charm. Right? Is there something I can hack? Like, there's no way he's seeing us right now. Alright, let's do this, let's do this. Wait for it. Now that was close, but we're almost there. Go, Miles. You know what this reminds me of? Uh, the Into the Spider-Verse, right after uh, Peter Parker dies. Go, Miles. And the Prowler's chasing him through the subway. That was a really cool scene. That scared the hell out of me the first time I played this game. <laughs> Where are we supposed to go? That's my Look, to the container, let's go! Go, go, go! Oh, we made it! Or did we? Not yet. Almost there. <laughs> I thought he was about to charge at us for a second. That was so funny the first time I heard it. Oh, speaking of Endgame 2, you guys, the uh, Endgame poster released? I think that's my favorite MCU poster ever. That's such a nice poster. I definitely want to get that poster. Just give us the wallet! Give it us, man! Hey, leave him alone! Or his father will fire your father. Big mistake, kid. I'm surprised these prisoners don't have any tattoos. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? Haha, <laughs> kids right. got guts. Hip squared. Some poor soul got trapped on the fourth floor. That's what he said right after he was like, you got a lot of guts, kid. Or something like that. From Spider-Man 2. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Whoa. You want a taste? Nah, I'm good, kid. <laughs> that was before he got bit by the spider, too. I gotta work on my fight banner. Awesome. Miles? Hey, I've been trying to reach you. You okay? Hey, so, uh, don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. Man, look at that suit, you guys. I definitely want to see this version and the 2002 version in the next game, along with the black suit. Like, a lot of people are saying, like, oh, we can't get certain suits uh, in this game because they gotta save them for the sequel. And honestly, you guys... I do think we'll see a decent number of suits return for uh, next game. Like, I, I think we'll be seeing the fan favorites return. Like, we're obviously going to get the Scarlet Spider again next game. And, like, the, uh... What else is another fan favorite suit? Oh, no, let's check. Yeah, so, like, I think we'll see, um... Like, fan favorite designs, like the Scarlet Spider. We'll probably see Spider-Man Noir return again. Maybe they'll add the trench coat or the, or the uh, fedora with him. But, like, suits like, um... Let's just take one for example. Like, The Last Stand, I don't see that returning. Ghost Spider, I don't see that returning. So, definitely, like, the fan favorite designs. 
He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and Can I fast travel there? Let's try. Should be able to. Alright, let's do it. So I think we'll end the episode after this fight, you guys. And then that should set us up perfectly for um for the final episode. Now the good thing about this is like during the story there's like exclusive cutscenes. Like you can't see that just playing the game regularly. Yuri, Rhino's targeting Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. But I do think we're gonna see a lot of the fan favorite designs return. Of course they're gonna be updated. I think we'll see the advanced suit return, but the color is actually gonna be red instead of orange. And I also think um you know, we'll see some new ones in there, like, I think it would be pretty cool if they ended up adding all the Raimi suits. Human Spider, the 2002 suit, uh, this one of course, and the black suit, that would be crazy. Calling agents in Manhattanville, requesting an update on your status. Observation post up. We'll relay any priority... So after this boss fight, we'll end it. If you guys can hear my dog snoring, I can't really do much about that. She's a very loud dog. I am the rhino. Pick on someone your own size, rhino. There is no one my size, Hulk. The Hulk? Juggernaut? Could just talk it out. Alright, so we should be able to do this. I just gotta get him under the, uh, the objects. Alright, let's run over here. Should just be able to dodge. I haven't even used my suit power yet. There we go. And we get to use the focus. Oh, okay. I don't know which Rhino boss fight has been my favorite. I know my least favorite Rhino boss fight of Spider-Man games has probably been uh, the Spider-Man 3 version. Like, that boss fight. That's one of the levels in game that I just find, like, forgettable. Where you at, Rhino? There he is. I make less trouble for you. Come get me. Stop throwing stuff. There we go. Let's get it. Where's the scorpion at? What about our stimulating battle side chats? You are funny, Maliki. I am almost sorry to destroy your tiny bit. Yeet! Let's go. Not too bad. Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. <laughs> oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do? Beg him to give up? Yes, Gargano. Uh, he's webbed up enough. Come on. Ah, like an old fairy couple, you two. Do we gotta strike him? It definitely gets difficult when uh, both of them come up here. I just gotta find Rhino now. I think we should take Rhino out first. There he is. Come on, Rhino. There we go, but we got hit. Oh, we should get the focus back right now. The poison that Scorpion's shooting reminds me of uh, Spider-Man 3. The lizard levels. Where you at, Rhino? Come on. Oh man, I almost jumped right in front of that. That was too early. Oh, we got him though. I didn't even think he was that close. There we go. He's not down yet though. We're getting there. I'd say one more hit probably. <laughs> there we go. 
Woohoo! No, one more still? Alright. I would say this is the last one now. I'll put money on it. Rhino's getting his super move. What did Octavius promise you, Scorpion? Money. Gargan has no prison. He fights for proud. Oh, that's all my fault right there. There we go. We almost died, too. Oh, let's get out of here. Oh! <laughs> getting close, getting close. All right, last one. Oh, I missed. I just need some focus back, man. That was easy. How did we not take damage from that? Unless we did, it was just going too fast. Come on, Rhino. I will say doing the uh, tag team boss fights was a pretty unique move. I don't remember the last time we saw that in a Spider-Man game. Bet. Let's go. No, I didn't want to get him. Let's go. Okay. Low health, but we can do it. Let's try the, uh, let's try that one again. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh man, this is getting difficult. Can I change my suit power to battle focus and just use the focus from that? Let's try. Oh, I can't bet. That's my first time trying that too. Now where is the scorpion? There he is. Oh, we should have gotten him. I guess we actually have to use gadgets instead of just webbing. Let's try him now. Let's go. What a takedown. It's probably my favorite takedown I've seen. Now that was a quick boss fight too. Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you freak show! Hey, freak show! I'm surprised Scorpion can't melt that. Awesome. So that was a close fight, but uh, we got it done. Alright, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti serum. Woo! I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me, or my best people is on it. Sugar Hill Garrison, this is Control. What's your status? Pete, hey, I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Alright guys, so that's going to end it for this episode. We got most of the Sinister Six out of the way. So, like I said, last episode or uh, next episode should be the last episode, which I am excited to get done. Not necessarily because I don't really need the game, but it's another of these uh, replay series. I replayed through all the games of Spider-Man leading up to Spider-Man PS4. I did the MC trying to warn you all now we're going to be capping off next episode brought a plague down upon us why do i blame him and not be possible without the support of you guys and of course insomniac adding the joke he's a lunatic terrorist
So that's going to do it for the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, follow my social medias, and I will see you guys again.